Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be the like one of the best war that I'm gonna be playing. So I like like taking stacked fights and all so let's start the war. So one thing that in last war video I just said like war 5 in the starting of the video so I'm sorry for that that was war 4 and it's war 5 now. So in this first fight captain marvel movie going with doctor doom is quite simple and the nodes that you can see is like way good i was just seeing that power bond node like when yeah my power drain and power burn like any power draining abilities are 90 percent less effective so at this point i don't want to like take her to sp3 and throw my sp3 and at any point i don't drain her power that would be bad but doctor doom is going like putting some stacked hits and all and I'm like very very happy with that she's 50% down in starting the fight you have like 15 hits in and she's almost dead she's gonna throw one more sp1 and that's going to be it I'm gonna throw an sp2 that would be it and fight is done and it's quite good so uh, I just woke up and I see the wall like five parts were left for the section one but to the time I joined it's one path left and they were just calling me back and back just come and come and come i was supposed to take this cork and the cork before him though like two cork but one of my teammates took it and that's quite good i don't want to play cork fights that much so this is going to be a mix master cork and i have taken this fight before and i have messed up in that but still i managed to keep it up in this fight also i'm gonna mess up pretty bad so let's see how we mess up and how we do this fight so at this point I was seeing that power node oh power boost and all mystic power boost I had 151 uh, 150 power one I have one left and two 200 are like two in my bank and one in my overflow I just uh, buy at yesterday night so I have one in my bank I knew that I was supposed to take a Nick Fury fight so that's why I just saved it but let's see over here Korg is quite simple we know it's a mix master he's gonna purify the berries some point he's gonna restore it and sometime it's gonna stick he's stun immune I want to just get that charges up so that if I can dex his any of this moves so I don't run up that charges so I just wanna parry as much as I can at this point his shields are down but I wanna throw an SP to so badly but I don't have any to throw I took some hits like four hits and that's quite good we didn't manage to lose that much amount of health we can still do like some hits and gonna do be fine for me over here he has like three charges four charges now the crowd charges and he can be unblockable if he throws an sp1 but he didn't he has some sh some shields I think so uh, two or three okay the call came up so some shields were up at this point so if I throw a speed it's not gonna be taking that much so let's leave that uh, we didn't do any kind of damage at this point I was just trying to do like some hits but we took some hits from him again and we're like almost 60 percent of our health so at this point I knew I was supposed to die but that aura saved me I didn't took that much amount of damage from that he's still like 80 near to 80 percent of his health not 80 like 70 percent i cannot see his health so um i'm like near to 40 percent of my health and he's evading like hell i'm not just doing my combos again and again and i'm losing on them so i just tried it to throw my sp choose and just get some instant damage in that would be good and just taking him to a good amount of power so that I can take some of the power backs that would be good for me I still have some of the charges of like six of them are still up and I'm pretty happy and we have some good crowd excitements and I took some hits again at this point I'm like okay uh, we have lost this we are like 50% of his left I'm just trying to like what should I say to my teammates how I lost this fight and what should I say them how they should play this fight 
So at this point, I just want to go with an SP one, and but he throws an SP two. I'm like, okay, he throws it. I don't have any issue. I just want to throw like some or two hits so that I can throw one more SP two and can finish the fight off. But I'm like 11 percent of my HP, and he's evading again and again. He has like three prowesses at this point. I took two hits of that SP one on my block, and we have to do this. Crowd excitement are up. If he throws SP one, I'm perfectly dead. <laughs> I know that I'm dead at this point because if uh, I don't know how to <laughs> dex his SP1 but we managed to keep it up and um, that incinerator is doing so much work for me and I'm like okay I don't have an issue we did the fight I'm pretty happy so I waited at this point I just tell my friend just to give me s one energy so that I can take that Nick Fury fight also so this warlock I kind of think like warlock is a stubborn character but let's see yeah if he is stubborn character can you tell me in the comment section but i don't i didn't see any indestructible when i play quake against him today so i went into my loyalty store just to get some boost up then i saw okay i have some boost to take it so i just took two of that power boost 151 and 18 percent of this i see that health i thought nine i have left so there's not an issue like i don't want to take this thing so that was good i don't want to take that health boost i have like so many of these so i went in i took my all of the boosts that i want to take because i'm starting to use dr doom in this war so like lots of war i can use i'm using him straight away for like three wars in a row now and that's good so we just took like two of these uh two of the boost i think and then we're gonna be quaking him and he is i think so kinetic transference and foot loose over here and that's going to be it i think for this uh, this is not that quite a fight so only thing that i was looking over here is like if he is a stubborn character and i have to parry him every point like not if I don't parry him at every point. If I have to parry before the aftershock. So after like 2 to 5 hits. He will get 1 bar. And some infections gonna be up from me. Like if I take 5 hits. Some infections will come from to me. And if I put like 1 or 2 heavy on to him. That's gonna get some more. And that shock's gonna suck very bad. So I was pretty thinking about that every point. But my teammate said no. He's not a stubborn character, go for it. I said him, if I lose this fight, and if I gave a kill, it's all on you, it's not on me. You said me to go. So I said, okay, you go, you can quake it, I know. And I went into the fight, and he was not a stubborn character, and I'm just playing with Warlock. At this point, it took like three aftershocks, uh, most probably four. And one more aftershock and fight is simply done. He was like not the, I don't know what I did with him. I thought like I will have to take some parries and all and but it was a quite a simple fight and I'm pretty happy with that. So we have to take part six because it's rage. Every point whenever it's rage, it's Nick or anyone else, it comes to me. So I was thinking should I go with the Archangel because my Archangel is full but then I thought no Dr. Doom can purify that fury so he's not gonna be unblockable so that is, will be so good <coughs> and I'm boosted at this point so I think should I go with like power boost 200% that I buy from that then I thought no let's go and took that. 151 because I can see I can take that from the store again so I don't have any issue at this point I just see the notes and I thought no Dr. Doom is the only option I don't want to go with anything else because that purification is way good so starts of the fight let's see what happens so I'm just trying to take like parry because I wa don't want him to get like so much amount of dex charges onto him and I put some hits it's not in like we cannot dex him yeah, I parried him it didn't connect because of the disorient on me so I thought that shock will also not take but it ticked that's good I'm just trying to push him to his sp2 he throws it uh, but okay he throws an sp2 at this point what I want to say at this point <laughs> so let's go yeah I want to throw my sp like 
with him having some amount of power so that I can go twin SP3 back again. So over here he's one and a half power and if I throw an SP3 it's going to be two and a half or like some like above two bars so if I say. I put two mediums, go with the lights, go with the mediums, he's not unblockable, I'm pretty happy with that. I just want to go with like full combo but he went with like four hits and straight away to a heavy that's good i can take some power back and that's good the aura was almost finished but i went to an sp3 over here in my mind is just one thing that i want to finish this combo like finish this uh clone nick fury before throwing my sp2 so that i can get him down fast so i went in and it happened he regen all back, I don't care at this point. So he dashed towards me, I throw an SP2. I thought it will take him to an SP2 but my special attack don't give power and he dashed towards me. My incidents were taking so much amount of damage, we put like 19k crits in that. He dashed towards me, I just put a medium, the fight was simply done. That was good. So in this, I knew that I'm gonna take this part. So this Elsa. Elsa is quite bad if you didn't manage to take that suicide mark like if the opponent have suicide mask you enter you don't have any written chance so that's why I just put my archangel but she don't use Rishan Martwis so that's good over here it's aggression prowess and nods are not that difficult is SP power force to SP2 and that's going to be it so we have three neuros at this point so I'm just trying to get like more neuros my last hit of a heavy connected so that's good what we want to do is just want to throw one more SP1 and the fight would be simply done. 16 hits into the fight and Elsa is dead. That is like, <laughs> what should I say, it's like way easy fight. So this Professor X, I have removed the node pro aggression prowess at this point. So it's not that difficult node, let, not that difficult link node, it's 25% attack and all. I just see the nodes and nodes are not that difficult. I cannot quake him because if it doesn't work with it, he can counters the evade. So what happens over here, let's see. We went to the fight with Archangel. Archangel is quite good against him. So I put some hits. I just want to throw my heavy fast, as fast as I can. Put one hero before that face comes up, falter. So he throws SP1. Okay, I thought my eye will trigger the falter, but it didn't. And this point I throwed. I thought that this point also I will connect, but it didn't. So we are like 30% of my HP. I will parry him again. He is stunned and I put my heavy and he resists that. And I am pretty dead because I was like 30% of my HP and I thought okay I don't want to. I just see like he can take this fight with Dr. Doom. He has fully Dr. Doom. So I go to line and tagged him up. He said okay he will take this fight and I am like I don't have any issue over here. So, we went to the boss section at this point so boss section everyone was saying me just to take that apocalypse but i didn't take that apocalypse because i don't want to take that apocalypse with dr doom i don't want to use so much of resources at this point so i was supposed to take this analysis so this is analysis is having what's that node hazard shift like incinerate and poison stun immunity bigger health at health and attack boost and he's 6 star rank 2 he's so stacked at this point so we're gonna take this fight with quake I thought analysis is like a stubborn character but he is I think so and if he is let's can you just tell me in like comment section he's like he is or like warlock both of them anyone is a stubborn character or not I thought to take this fight with Dr. Doom but then I see that has that like incinerate and poison one so I stopped at that point. So I went in with Quake and he's quite stacked at this point. So I was seeing my aftershocks they were doing like nothing damage at this point. So I took like 3 hits in a row, 4 hits, oh full combo, <laughs> I didn't remember that. So but I'm gonna be regening it some of it because I'm gonna take some block hits so that's gonna apply poison and that another oh not poison I'm gonna break and some another default that he puts onto us I'm gonna reject some of my health back I don't want quick for the any other fight so I can just take some hits also like I want to just finish the fight as fast as I can and I cannot touch him because I'm gonna get poison and instant both so what I have to do is just quake as well as I can in corner 
and he's throwing so many hits and he's so aggressive analysis are so aggressive every point i just want to finish this fight fast but my bo- i just start like uh, 10% or like 20% attack and health boost i don't remember the boost i was thinking at this point i was doing like nothing damage so i should have just started at attack boost bigger like 30 minutes attack boost like 15% attack boost so like okay i should have done that but when i see the clock it's like 3 minutes like 4 minutes at this point so you can see one minute is only left and one minute i have been like almost 50% of the damage so in this point i was like okay we have 4 minutes so i can finish this fight so i don't have to worry that much only thing that i have to look is just to quake him as fast as i can put more and more after shocks and quake as well as i can so i'm just trying to do that uh, we are doing good amount of damage i'm not like not doing nothing damage i'm doing some 4000 like 3500 damage so that is quite good he's almost near to like 30% to 40% of his health and we are taking like 8% of his like 8 or 6% of his health every aftershock that we put on to him so it's not that much bad but he's quite stacked at this point so i'm like okay if i lose this fight that would be bad and I was saying to my teammates that he's a stubborn character. I cannot take this fight just like as Warlock one. And I said him again, if I lose, it's all on you. It's not on me. He said, okay, you go. I knew you can do it. You are good. You can play good quick. So I said, okay, if I lose, I don't care because it's all on all on him. No one's can tell me. So I'm like, okay, I can go him. At this point, we just need one more aftershock, and the fight would be done. And the fight is almost done. I want to throw one more heavy, but some shock it's damage that i put from heavy did it for me i took one round with this boss after the all nodes are gone but then i kind of lose that fight so we gave like two kills then i tried one more time we gave like three kills so we have already won this war before we went to section 2 because the opponents were giving so many kills they don't have diversity and that was good so this is going to be it and we have won like five wars in a row now and we have to win like two to three and we're going to be going to platinum three then and here we go we have a, like one more video for you so in this we're going to be making a, like an attempt just to get an egg on so i am just doing it at this point i just recorded it and we're going to be doing it right now so what are we going to do is gonna go for the dual crystal as you can see and i'm just praying just to get aegon on next fury at this point i just want that to correct us well. so i'm just trying to do that but we landed on ice man as you can see that and ice man is not a bad correct i'm going to take him to i think rank 4 and we're going to go for variant 1 then I haven't done variant 1 so that's going to be it so Thanks for watching. Until then, see you next time.